Okay, one of the biggest reasons that I find that the male hormones are disrupted is not due to that you're just not trying hard enough or something. It's you're really missing out on some key things that actually help your system function better. Having lower testosterone is going to impact how well your body builds muscle, how strong you feel, right? How that muscle can then burn fat. There's no point in going to the gym, lifting weights, all this stuff, if you're actually not getting stronger. That's one of the number one key things I hear from males is that I'm trying to do all these things. I'm, I'm forcing myself, right? You're taking so much energy to force yourself to do these things. You're like, I used to do this. This used to not be a big deal, but now I'm having to really force my body. That's not normal. That's not normal you could have lower testosterone. And if that is the case, there are specific things we need to target to make sure that your body is able to create enough. Your body is designed to function a certain way. And if we're missing out on something as key as testosterone, there's no way that your body's gonna be able to function like it should. Then you don't feel like you should. You're gonna be more tired. You're gonna be worn out. You're not gonna be able to respond to things the way that you want to. Right? One of the number one things I hear from males actually when their testosterone is lower, besides how frustrated they are with just being tired, not feeling like themselves, right? Not having the energy, the stamina, the libido that they used to, is that they get frustrated with what to do about it. Like so frustrated because they keep getting the same message of, oh, we'll cut out beer or cut out these other things. Sure. But if those things aren't really giving you the right result, we need to look at other things and what's going on in your body that is diminishing that natural production. And then oftentimes it is in a pretty easy, it's a, it's a simple, you know, it's, nope, nope. Oftentimes then it's a pretty simple thing to focus on getting your body to produce more testosterone naturally helping your system naturally do that. There are some herbs, there are some things to really focus on, but it does matter as how your body's functioning first. And that's why we do hormone testing. That's why we look at the Dutch test to see, oh, hey, look, this is too low. We need to help this pathway. That's what we do, and boom. You start to notice a difference right away. You start to feel different. There was a, a gentleman that I worked with who um, worked a really tough, job, very, very high demand job outside in construction. And he started noticing that even though he was constantly moving, constantly being active all day at work, that he felt so fatigued at the end of the day, he would have to go to bed. Started gaining weight and he was like, this is nuts. I'm, I'm not even, so he cut some of his food out, which made him more tired. He had a hard time getting through his day at work then. So when we looked at his hormones and discovered that oh, your testosterone is actually really low, let's do these things to boost it. Let's do these things to get your body where it should be and balance it out. Huge change. In just a couple short months, he was back to feeling his old self again, feeling like he could tackle anything, any project at work. And he not only had way more energy at work, but he had energy after. And he even started playing softball again, right? Like he was in some, you know, adult, you know, men's softball league that he really enjoyed. Wasn't able to even go to the games because he was so tired. He started going to softball again. He said, that's when I really knew it was different for me. Able to go to work and then couldn't wait to go to softball. It's those types of things that make a big difference, right? It's one thing just to look at your testosterone level, but what is that impacting in your life? If you can't do the things that you want to do in life because your hormone levels are off, you can't work out harder just to make it better. You can't eat cleaner than that. We have to target the hormones. That makes a change in your life. So let's make sure we're looking at your hormones. Make sure you're clicking the link, get your own hormone test sent to you, and then we can go over it. I'm Dr. Beth Westy, hormone expert, and I can't wait to see what your levels say so that we can target this specifically, get your body functioning better, get you feeling better.